Hi, this is Omai from Spitfire Audio and after session of the trailer for the contemporary drama toolkit here and I want to show you around a little bit, show you the brief that I've been given, the first draft, the final draft and maybe give my two cents here and there why I think this is such a great library. So straight into the brief, when we were discussing what I had in mind, the notes that I took down were keep it minimal, limited but bold, darker and broody, Drama and tension, include a pulse, develop a patch, and avoid layering. And that for a good reason, you don't have to. What you have here are lots of layers that have been finely curated and really cleverly put together by the guys. So what you can do is just use both of your hands on the keyboard and really just focus on the images that you see and just play and react to them. Picking a few things off the brief to get me going, I wanted to start with a pulse, partially because I knew there's a patch in here that's called pulses that would really lend itself to tick that box and what I figured out first is the tempo so I put down this which repeats throughout and now that actually allows me to turn off the click and in general if there's any instrumentation that indicates the tempo or the rhythm uh, I love being able to just turn off the click and just play of that so this is what i did here i loaded up another really lovely patch and just started playing along to the images that i had here I've only then added this cluster here. I'm gonna unmute it quick. So this blackout here indicated that I could do a climactic moment uh, around here before I continue with something else that might be a little bit more calmer. It also kind of indicates to me that I have two different sections here. But instead of going back and tweaking what I already have here, I wanted to continue writing to picture. I also sort of knew what I wanted to do next. Having this climactic moment here, I wanted to bring in something very human. So I opened this vocal patch and continued writing with that one. So again, mostly just sort of reacting to what is there. I did work out the chords throughout, but it's just about getting this movement going uh, to what I'm seeing. I just simply lay out that one with this really beautiful electric violin patch that I had over here. I just love how this lead line comes out. And that was basically pretty much already the whole body of this composition. I just had to go back and make sure that I'm hitting the brief. So if I look back at it, uh, I kept it minimal so far. It's darker and broody at times. There's some drama and tension in there. I definitely have that pulse in there and what I'm missing is being a little bit more bold with it. So the next patch was from Synth Textural. And what's just really beautiful with this one is that again I can go back, watch it back and just play along and intensify the tension of this scene by just adding some velocity, so just hitting the keys harder. And skipping forward, it just builds up to this.
And at the time, I did layer a couple more patches in there, which wasn't necessary. But um, just to demonstrate to you the process, I had this guitar patch over here as well. And this lead guitar coming in on this F that I'm repeating to just increase the tension over there. And that was basically my first draft. And the feedback that I got was to strip it down um, even more. So I'm just going to um, mute all the patches that didn't make it, which was basically the very first one that I've used as Pulse. Wasn't needed because this one... was already enough for this scene. And this guitar patch was also stripped over here other than this continuous note that really helped with the build. And a couple of tips and tricks that Christian came back with, which I thought were really nice. For example, this one underneath is just the track is copied, but he added this gain plugin over here and then he turned on the swap left and right. So it just widens it a little bit and just really nicely fills it out. I'm just going to play that back quickly. Over here, did the same again, copying the same track and the same patch. And notably so, the what I liked especially is the delay. It's just little tweaks, I think, that really just add this detail to um, to your work. So he put uh, both sides on quarter notes, but he had a bit of a deviation there. And on the second one, another very cool effect. He added a pitch plugin and automated the second one slightly. So it just moves in pitch a little bit. You can solo that out. So it's like a little guitar pitch bent in there, which I really like. And that was pretty much the final draft. I also wanted to give an example of an alternative version, just to give an example of just playing the whole thing through, if it was a slightly different brief, perhaps. Or something along those lines. Otherwise, I think it's just about being able to have both of your hands on the keyboard and just reacting to what you're seeing, making this incredibly intuitive. If you enjoyed this way of working, but you're looking for a more traditional setup, we also have British Drama Toolkit, so you get acoustic strings in there and woodwinds, and equally, it works really well with one another. And you can get so many more combinations out of that as well. Lastly, I just want to play back the trailer and play the final result.
So it was really nice and quick to put this together. Really enjoyed working on this and I hope you enjoyed this library as much as we do. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you in the next one.